feel like I can watch birds fly whether it's day or night. I guess on a you know artistic level, there's something that's sort of interesting about the experience of watching the birds make sort of almost like drawings or something in the sky. We're here in Wallabout Bay, and you're overlooking the, the skyline of Manhattan, and you know, and then that basically what happens is that as that dusk, we uh, the, when the pigeons come out, they start flying around, and then eventually as the um, the light starts to disappear from the sky. You can see the, the uh, you know, the, and the, the lights in Manhattan start to go on. The, you see the lights of the birds are also start to illuminate and fly around, sort of like like a moving constellation. There's two thousand of them. I recognize most of them, but uh, I'd say that there's probably three or four hundred that I remember by name. I have been involved with pigeons uh, most of my adult life and, have, and it's been uh, something that's appeared in my artwork pretty predominantly and I lived in a pigeon coop for four years in Providence, Rhode Island where I spent the entire time studying pigeons and uh, painting pigeons. I think it's a collaborative project between me and the pigeons, and uh, you know, you can you can ask them what, what their opinion is on it. I don't want to speak for them exactly, it's whether it's a you know performance or a, you know a, some type of, uh, or maybe it's just a drawing of what they're doing in the sky. Pigeons are very 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 smart, and they're constantly watching us as much as we're watching them, and they, they're very fast learners. They recognize faces, they, and they recognize who is the person that takes care of them, and they know that it's you standing there with a pole with a garbage bag <laughs> on top of it, and they just know that it's their time to fly and, and uh, their time to perform. The dimensions of the performance are so obviously fluid and expanding and contracting as the birds group together, and then they separate and fly in different groups. And so the space of the performance is continually changing. It really messes with your uh, sense of perspective. Yeah. It's a magical performance, and I'm interested in finding out more about the significance of the pigeons. I understand it has something to do with the role of pigeons in New York City as carriers and messengers. Some of that was uh, uh, inspired by a, a uh, top secret military manual from, I think, World War II era that was specifically about uh, flying pigeons at night. They would uh, train pigeons specifically to go out onto boats to uh, deliver messages back to the mainland before there was uh, radio communication. They have a, a natural uh, uh, ability that, uh, to find their way home that uh, uh, scientists have not been able to figure out. What I, I really hope that people just have a moment to take where they, they aren't looking at their phones and they're not, you know, and they're just looking up at the sky, being in their, in their environment, absorbing the, the nature that surrounds them in the city every day that people take for granted and, uh, and maybe thinking a little bit more about pigeons the next time they see them when they're, uh, you know, wa out walking in the park or whatnot or just in the city in general because they're thinking about thinking about us at the same time.